Well, good morning to you. It is the second day of a week on Tesco Finest. Oh, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling very, very chipper this morning. I just cannot wait to start the day. I'm, I'm just, it, it, me at, at Worthington Smythe Manor, we are very, but no, I don't know. I'm just going to get some breakfast. I'm pretty hungry. The oven is on. <gasps> what could possibly be going in there? Well, well, first of all, it is Tesco Finest All Butter Croissant, or Croissants, as you say in America. You pronounce the R for some reason. I mean, you know, you do change aluminium to aluminum, so what, whatever, what is that? I don't know. These, I'm, I'm hoping, are going to be really nice. I'm going to have butter with them. If I can reach it. Here we go. And I've, uh, I've got my salt crystals in there. Lovely stuff. And, uh, and, and to go with that, I'm going to have some tea. Some Assam tea. To make up for the fact that I forgot about Assam tea during my week on eating food only beginning with A. And luckily, and, and yes, luckily, Tesco Finis do do some bloody milk. <laughs> Look, there's a cow on the front. Look at her. She looks so happy. So, Channel Island whole milk. So, this is going to be the thickest cup of tea I've ever had in my entire life. But, but I'm also hoping that this is going to be like the nicest breakfast ever because croissant's good, butter good, tea good. So, could get a kettle on. While the kettle boils, I shall see what this little man's up to. He's being a little loaf, isn't he? Oi, being an ignorant loaf. Just a floating pair of eyes right now because it's dark. You're not talking. No. So dark the camera doesn't want to focus. Neither does bloody Basil. Here we go. A classy bloody breakfast. Croissants with posh butter and Assam with Channel Island whole milk. For forgive the, the Coral Island Blackpool mug. It's an arcade in Blackpool. It's a bloody brilliant time. Can't imagine. Can't imagine the aristocracy visiting. However, I'm gonna, oh yes. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's cracking. That. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. That is. That is something else. Come here. Oh, lovely. Oh, that whole milk is like having tea with cream. Mm. I wouldn't choose that. Don't, uh, whether that's its intention, I don't know. I don't know what you. I don't know what people do with whole milk. Because it is just a step away from cream, isn't it? Cream on your cereal, cream on your tea. Mm. Oh. So posh, darling. Oh. I tell you what, I could get used to nice buttery croissants slathered in butter and then with a cup of tea with basically butter instead of milk. That was absolutely an amazing breakfast. I am I'm very happy now. I'm very content. Um it is it is approaching lunchtime though. I've been keeping myself busy. I've been doing things this morning. Um I'm not super duper hungry. And I don't know why. Maybe it's maybe it's the butter coursing through my veins right now. So I suppose, um, I suppose I should find something for lunch. Because it, it's, it's gone past, it's like 1.30. Usually I would have stuffed my face way before now, but... You know, what you gonna do? So this is what I've got for lunch today. Spinach and pine nut pesto pasta. Pound it part lots of peas. Topped with 30 month matured cheese. That I guess that is. Parmigiano Reggiano. He's a good friend of mine. He's uh, Parmesan Reggie. We're, uh, we're we're close personal buddies. So this um, I think it's supposed to be like a side dish, but um, I do like pesto pasta. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck in. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna tuck in. Whoa! Look at that. Two pound twenty five for this. That's not bad. I don't think. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, this is a. a a well-established combination, so I was not expecting to not like this. This is really good. It's not loads of it, so I mean, thankfully, I'm not too hungry. Mm. But it is nice. I like in it. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Watching a previous GDQ of Resident Evil 2, because I love Resident Evil 2. I haven't played it for a very long time though. Plus, if I watch someone else playing the original Resident Evil 2, it means I don't have to play the new Resident Evil 2, because it's very scary. The tyrant, the one that follows you around, I don't like him. You can hear footsteps, it makes me cry. I'm not... I'd, don't talk to me about it, please. I'm gonna watch this guy instead. I'm gonna... I'm gonna watch the load screen. I miss... I miss the door load screens. <laughs> I do think it's very important this week that I do maintain my, um, I'm squeezing my eyeball really strangely with this. I feel like I should maintain my vitamin C levels, you see, because it is, it is the middle of winter, um, and it's snow. You see, darling, snow, hang on, if I hold it like this, snow is due, darling, so I feel like I should get my vitamin C. Uh, I, uh, this, this is an orange, you get four of them in a sack, you see, darling, and it's one pound forty-three for, for 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 four oranges, which is, they're quite big oranges, you see. You could quite easily make a fake breast out out of it if you if you were that way inclined, I suppose. So I'm going to enjoy my mid afternoon snack of of an orange. You see, with, there were no limes available for us limes because oh, I'm blind. My monocle's fallen out. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to stop talking now. I know I mentioned this yesterday, but my book is now out, and I'm very bloody proud of it. I think it's very funny and exciting and thrilling. It's about a boy who masturbates, and it goes viral on the internet, and it just keeps getting worse and worse for him. It's very funny, and there's a bit of sci-fi in there, and uh, the links are all in the description. I would be forever grateful if you would consider buying it, or, or, or reading it, renting it, and something like that. The, the links are in the description. I love it, and I would love you if, if you... I'm not, I'm not going to mention it again in this video, but I'm going to talk about it again in future days, because I'm so goddamn proud of it. What are you doing? Are you having a wash? Yes. Oh, whiny. Look at that stretch. You are the star of the show, Basil. And uh, unfortunately, Tesco don't do finest cat food. Oh, they don't. I'd be mad too. Yes, I'd be very mad. But, um, but luckily you're not doing this week on, so you're not going to starve to death. Should be very pleased to hear. Yeah? Good boy. So, what's for dinner on day two? It's a ham hock, leek and potato gratin. Although, specifically, um, there's two of them. £3.50 each. So, £7. I could do quick maths. Um, I've got to bang on the oven. This is becoming customary already with this week and um, let's have a look at let's have a look at the damage shall we saturates not as bad as yesterday 80, 81% 42% fat 58% salt not a lot of sugar in there and uh, considering the amount of fats and saturates not all that many calories considering it's about a quarter of my daily allowance so I'm gonna have this I'm probably gonna have a pudding because it's not it's not a huge dinner this one and um, I've, I've not budgeted well for veg you see but I had my oranges today so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get scurvy you see so uh, yes yeah, going to bung these in the oven and hopefully get a crispy top I, I imagine I'm gonna have to just rather than just piercing that I'm gonna have to take this off so blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, place my baker tray in the center of the oven um, remove outer sleeve and film lid there we go so yes oven time well here we go you're not looking forward to it again because of the leak, are you? <laughs> There's just a lot of leak in all of this. Ham hock leak and potato gratin. It does look very nice though. It does. It smells good. Mmm. Mm. Is it good? It is. It's too hot. I prefer that to my crumble from the other day. Oh, look at that ham. Mm. Oh, basil looks like that. The sauce is nice. Mm. And the potatoes are nice, but it is quite oniony. <laughs> I'm afraid to say. Shall I have that piece of leek for you? Yeah. There we go. Mm. Oh, look at that leek. Mmm. Mm. I like this. So, big yeah. chunks of ham. Mm, very big. Mm, nice. Nice and salty. So as you can see, people are going to moan. But um, we're not Tesco finest people, so we're not going to serve them up and, and ruin a plate. Why, why, why would we do that? So, uh, yeah, we're just going to basically eat it out of the container because... Because we're slobs. We're Tesco Valley people. <laughs> Actually, really likes dinner. It's probably 
I mean, it's only day two, but that's probably the, the nicest thing I've had so far. What did you reckon? Yeah, it was lovely, actually. It was a bit oniony, but it was nice. It was. It was It was very, very nice. And um, I'm going to wash it down with, with some pudding, which, it, I mean, it doesn't look particularly fancy. It came in these little pots, plastic pots. It is raspberry, prosecco, and white chocolate dessert, apparently. So it's not got any other name other than just dessert. It smells very, very sweet. So I've got high expectations. I'm going to get pissed and it's going to be chocolatey. It just tastes like cream and compote. Is it nice? Don't really like that. Yeah, have a try. There you go. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can definitely taste the Prosecco. I can. Oh, I, I expected the moussey the stuff to be the white chocolate, but it's like yeah. cream with a really tart raspberry coolie thing in the bottom. Mm. The Prosecco just kind of overpowers everything. Yeah, boozy flavour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very. I don't like that. Ooh, Tesco. I think, oh, I can't remember the price. But um, it's not worth it. If Even if... Even if it was free. I like that. Well, there we go. That was day two of a week on Tesco Finest. And it started very, very well. Um, with my croissants for breakfast. Mm -hmm, they were delicious. And then my lunch was the really good pesto pasta. Again, it was kind of alright. like pesto, so it went down well. Dinner was very, very nice. I did like my ham hock gratin. That, yes, that's what it's called, a gratin. Graton. And then um, I ruined the entire day with that horrible Prosecco creamy mousse compote thing. Didn't like that at all. Didn't finish it. Very, very sad. Because I, I expected good things. But no, it was, um, it was the worst thing I've had this week. If you like the taste of Prosecco, if you're... A, um, a well-off white woman in your 50s, you'll probably like it. I'm sorry, I'm racial profiling. But I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like it at all. So um, I guess I'm not a, a white woman in, in my 50s. So that's fine, I didn't, I didn't think I was. But um, it's, been, it's been an alright day, despite that. So, interesting to see where it's going to go. Didn't expect to dislike many products, but... Mm, Hopefully it's not a slippery slope from here. If you'd like to see how I get on, you can please subscribe to the channel, or you can support the show on Patreon. It goes a very long way to help um, me to do these ridiculous things. And uh, you can also support my book, which is available to buy now. Um, or you could just watch tomorrow and click the like button. But uh, if you don't choose to do any of that, I hope you do choose to watch tomorrow. So I'll see you then.